happening today? A Marine lieutenant who made the ultimate sacrifice more than 50 years ago in Vietnam will be awarded the Silver Star. First Lieutenant Philip Sauer gave his life so others could escape an ambush. 10 News reporter John Horn is live at La Jolla Cove where a chance meeting ultimately led to today's ceremony. Good morning, John. Hi, Virginia. That's right. Every morning at 930, Tom Sauer meets a group of friends for a dip here in La Jolla Cove. And it was a casual conversation about his brother's heroics that's ultimately leading to him receiving one of the armed forces highest honors. My brother just got up and said, run for it. Go, you know, retreat, retreat, retreat. It's a story Tom Sauer and only a few others knew. These, the final moments of his brother Philip's life. These six men walked into a... Um, bamboo thicket and it was a killing zone. It was April 24th, 1967. Philip, a first lieutenant colonel in Vietnam. He and four others ambushed by 30 enemies. My brother and another guy jumped into a foxhole. Lieutenant Sauer used his sidearm to hold them off long enough for others to get away. One Marine survived. Tom Sauer learned of his brother's fate sitting in a college classroom. Somebody walked into a, a, a lecture hall where I was and asked to see me and told me, your brother's missing in action, you need to go home. Life went on. Tom now in La Jolla in a swim group called Toes in the Water. And one day, a Marine veteran named David Little asked to join and struck up a conversation with Tom, who told him about his brother's heroics. He was just concerned and believed off the bat that he was entitled to, a, my brother was entitled to a, a, an honor of some sort. Over the next two years, Little, who retired as a lieutenant colonel, weaved his way through federal bureaucracy to ultimately help First Lieutenant Sauer get the Silver Star. We saw each other every day. He never mentioned what he was doing. Tom says he's yeah. honored for his brother, Philip. His new headstone, Reading Silver Star, installed last week. I really think he would think he was just doing what any Marine would do. And that what he did was nothing particularly special. It was what he was trained to do. And so he just did what he thought was his job. Now that ceremony takes place later this morning at Camp Pendleton. 10 News will be there to cover it. Sauer's brothers and sister will be there, as will Bill Marks, the one Marine who survived that ambush 50 years ago. Live in La Jolla, John Horn, 10 News.